is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eSkillsZone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. Today, in this video, we will discuss Module 11 of Java Programming Language. And the topic of today we will discuss in our video is non numeric data types. So, let's start. There are two types of non numeric data types in Java and those are number one non-numeric primitive types the second one is non-numeric reference types First, we will discuss the non-numeric primitive types. There are two of non-numeric primitive that is character and boolean. So for data type, we'll draw a table and we'll give the size in bytes for this character and boolean. For first, we'll type the data type and then we'll type size in bytes. So for character, the value is two, whereas for boolean, value is one. In bytes. So let's understand this with the help of an example. We will execute a program for this. So let's switch to the ID Eclipse here. We will execute a program to understand the concept of non numeric primitive types, character, and boolean. So here we will click on this button and type Java project. The name of the project name is character and boolean types. We will press on the next button and then finish button. And name of the module is program. We will use. So over here you can see this module first we will right click on it delete this module and we will create our own by clicking on the src folder right clicking on it and then go to the new option from here we will select the class and click on it so here we will give the name as program simply and click on this check box is very very important so keep it in your mind don't forget to check this box because this way you can create a wide main method which is very very important part of Java program so here we are viewers here we will type the first the description that the purpose of this program is to using tractor and boolean types so in class program we will declare two variables character C and boolean B. So now we will create more method public void default value name of the method we're gonna use in, in this program. Uh, under this braces we will type first system dot out dot print ln statement output statement and under the double quotes we will type default character value and the value is 
plus C. So whatever is stored in character C will be displayed over here by using the plus symbol. Likewise, we'll copy this whole line and then paste it over here and then type default boolean value and we'll type plus B over here like this and all this structure and the this method is closed over here name of the method is default value now we will create one more method show and under the braces we will type character i equal to a semicolon boolean b equal to true and now I'll again use the system dot output statement for displaying the output so we will click over here character value and over here we will use plus i because we have used this plus i as a character variable by typing chr and assign a to it likewise we will type one more system dot out dot print ln state for displaying the value stored in the boolean value so the boolean value is plus b this time now we will use the void main method and this method we will type program object equal to new object new program and then now I'm going to use the object of these programs like we have used two different methods above the first method was def value and the second one is show so we'll type obj object and then type the name as since we can see all the options provided by the Java language or here we can understand name of the method we have used in our program like this is a program these are the objects you can see the type of uh, categorized as an object and program you can see the show is a program def value the show is it is a program and all other are as objects you can see CGR is a program so these are all programs so we're gonna use the first method which is default value so we'll click on it like this like as well we'll click we'll type one more object and over here we'll select show program show method so all is set now we're going to execute this program so you can see that we have defined two different method the def value and void show two different methods are used and the, both these methods are called by using their object so object is going to return the output of this particular method so this is how a function is called by using an object and we can show the output of that particular method or program in a Java programming language so we will then click on this run program and over here we will study run as and then click on the Java application pressing the OK button so you can see the output first we have used system dot order print and then the void default value according to this the value is now so you cannot see any value over here but if you type the defined boolean value plus B you can see the value as false but if you see the next character value plus i you can see a name because a is assigned in this specific method void show and boolean true value boolean value is a true plus b because the true is assigned to boolean b since there was no value assigned to this boolean therefore false is returned so if we assign any value same will be returned as an output like if we type true over here then you can see the 
output over here as a tool over here. Run as Java application. Okay. So you can see true, but if you don't specify any of the value, like so the by default the value for boolean is false. So we'll execute this program once again to understand the concept and you can click on it and then run as from the run button and you can see false value can be seen on the screen. So that's all viewers. Thanks for watching. This is a program to understand the concept of non-numeric primitive type. In our next program, we will discuss non-numeric reference type in Java programming language. Thanks for watching.